Hi and welcome to day two here at Kelso for the Paris Pike Novice Chase. This is over two miles six furlongs. It's a five year olds and up and it's a fairly small field. So number one is Br'er Rabbit for Martin Needham. Two is Consequence of Stars for Joshua Sutherland. Three, Dragon Legend for Leon Van Rensburg. Four, James Yogi for Derek Hinton. Five, Musty Mutt for Stu Gray. Six, Celestial Lights for Ghost Zappa. Seven, Pulling Your Leg for Graham Clutterbuck. And the favourite, The Queen's Estate for Darren Thompson is number eight. There's a wait for them to line up. I started to get them away. Here at uh, Kelso. A big crowd. And they're away. Alright, as we're going to wait for them to settle. It's a John Morgan front runner that takes us into the first. Celestial Lights. Certainly has improved his stable with uh, front runners this season. We're going to the second. And everybody's over that as well. So it's Celestial Lights. John Morgan that's leading by a couple of lengths. Just on the inside is the favourite, the Queen's Estate. They've been followed through by Consequence of Stars, Musty Mutt. And we've got Br'er Rabbit there. And just dropping back a little bit is pulling your leg against the fence. And the pink silks of James Yogi at the rear, which is also quite unusual. He's being pushed along at the moment. Unlike a Del Hinton horse to be running at the back. So the 3-3. Three, three. We'll have another 11 to go. And there are a good couple of miles still to travel. So it's Celestial Lights that leads us into the fourth. Oh, we've lost one there. Pulling your leg has gone. What a commentator's dream. Anyway, it's so uh, bad luck there, Graham. But it's Celestial Lights that leads them around the top bend here. And they'll come into the home straight. And he's leading by probably four now to the, the Chasers, which are Queen's Estate and Consequence of Stars. And you've got outside of that is Br'er Rabbit and Dragon Legend. One that's got nowhere to go and got himself boxed in his musty mutt. And then James Yogi in the pink silks. So the jockey on Celestial Lights just uh, slowing him down a little bit. They've gone off a little bit too quick here. We go into the ditch, the fifth. Everybody's over that. And they're going to come up, which I think will be the last next time round. And they're going to come past the winning post, maybe not, because I've just seen another, look like a two furlong pole. <laughs> Don't know me course at Kelso. Oh look, there's a bunker over there, there must be, wolf. And Celestial Lights dove at that one, got away with it. That'll be the last next time round. He'll be wanting to get over that much, much better. So as we pass the stands, it's Celestial Lights that leads us from Dragon Legend. And the blue silk's out wide. Inside of that is Br'er Rabbit. Closer to the fence is Consequence of Stars. And we've got the pink silks of James Yogi. And black and green silks of Musty Mutt. And the Queen's Estate just having a, a nice easy run round the rows at the moment. So as they approach the seventh, better jump by Celestial Lights, although it's a little bit slow. And it's allowed the pack to get within a couple of lengths. They take this hairpin turn here on the left. I'm glad it's not a bigger field, but it's Celestial Lights that leads us. By a couple of lengths. The consequence of stars against the fence. Musty Mutt on the outside of that. And Dragon Legend and Brown Rabbit even wide up. They all get over that, although the Queen's Estate was very slow. Jockey having to push him along a little bit now. But still well over a mile to travel. We go into the ninth. Everybody jumps it well. Nice fast jump by Br'er Rabbit. But it's still Celestial Lights that leads. But just half a length now. The rest of the pack have called up. All very clever. There's only probably four lengths between first and last. Although they got a little bit spread out going over the tenth. We've only got four left to jump. And under a mile to travel. But Celestial Lights now being challenged a little bit by Br'er Rabbit. But the, and on the outside comes James Yogi. We've got Musty Mutt, one against the fence, Consequence of Stars. And the two just at the rear at the moment are Dragon Legend and the Queen's Estate. They approach the 11th. First rises Celestial Lights. The rest of them get over it. He's extended his lead to a couple now. Musty Mutt being pushed along a little bit, get a better position. Out wide is James Yogi. Looks like he's going to challenge for the lead inside the five and a half furlongs. Approach the 12th. Everybody's over it. Slow jumps at the rear from Dragon Legend, Br'er Rabbit, and the Queen's Estate. And James Yogi's taking this up now. Being chased through by Consequence of Stars. Celestial Light's still there. The one on the outside is Musty Mutt. Queen's Estate starting to motor. One on the outside of that is Dragon Legend. Br'er Rabbit's getting caught a little bit for toe now. As they approach the next, it's James Yogi that leads. 
trees with consequence of stars. Celestial Light's got himself boxed in with no room on the outside. Here comes Dragon Legend, and Dragon Legend looks like he's going to lead us into the penultimate first. It's Dragon Legend now starting to pull away from consequence of stars and James Yogi. The Queen's Estate starting to move now. Brer Rabbit's getting caught per foot toe. They're over the 13th, the penultimate. Everyone's there. It's Dragon Legend that now leads by three to four. Consequence of stars is starting to move. James Yogi doesn't look like he's got anything left, and I'm not sure the rest of the pack are going to get into this, all by the Queen's Estate, which is the only one moving well. So it's Dragon Legend that takes them into the last. We've only got a furlong and a half left to run. Jumps it slowly, but the Consequence of Stars dive there. The one that's coming out of the pack, as I said, is the Queen's Estate. We're inside the final furlong now. It's on the flat. It's Dragon Legend. Still leads by a couple from the Queen's Estate. Consequence of Stars. James Yogi plugging on, but it's Dragon Legend for Liam Rand Rensburg that's going to take this. We're inside the last 50 yards. It's Dragon Legend. Cross the line first from the Queen's Estate in second. Consequence of Stars third. Nice win there for Leon Van Rensburg, missing last week, gets a win. The second was a Queen's Estate for D. Thompson, the favourite for the race. Third was Consequence of Stars for Joshua Slutherland. Fourth was James Yogi for D. Hinton. And fifth was Celestial Lights for Gosapa.